Hello, hello everyone, how are you all doing today? I'm doing quite fine, quite fine. Uh, I'm really stoked for today's episode guys, really stoked, really stoked. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Today we are going to work on removing those death points because I have way too many. <laughs> okay. Um... So yeah guys, uh, today I first was planning to work on some food, but who needs food? Not me, not me. Um, no, today we are going to work on some oh, automated uh, charcoal production and some, um, this sounds really loud, I think it's on my end, possibly, possibly, but uh, we are going to work today on some... Um, Charcoal automation and some. Um, whatchamacallit again? Ore processing. Yes, that's the word I was looking for. <clears throat> so, yeah, what are we going to use for that? Well, as I mentioned last episode, we are going to use uh, Steve's factory manager. I shouldn't jump and sprint. Because food. Food is still a big problem for me uh, let's see i need 10 i think i'm sorry i thought someone was knocking but we need also some uh, let's just grab it all i also thought i had some uh, gold left because we also need some gold for some things yeah uh that's oh, gold i grabbed everything except gold uh so yeah we are going to work on that today uh. Oh yeah, smooth stone. Let's see. Do we have everything? Uh, we also need some rough or some cobblestone. I really need to get to mining because this is all the cobblestone I have left. <laughs> I have maybe something left at the uh, tree farm because I was building axes like there was no tomorrow. So yeah guys, let's get to crafting. First things first, I need some wood. <laughs> uh, I should have enough wood, yeah. I have wood for days now since I have the tree farm. I only need one of them. Uh, I was looking if there is. A, if you guys know a, sh a quick clearing of the crafting window, uh, please let me know. Uh, let's craft them all up. And uh, Steve's inventory manager. Cool, cool, cool. Or not. <laughs> a machine inventory manager. We also need some inventory cables. Quite a bit, actually. So I'm going to craft myself. A bunch of them. Uh, gold, gold isn't really a problem here in this mod pack. Oh, I need glass. The think is glass should work, so let's try it out. It's our dictionary, so I hope it works. Let's get through the night really quick, really quick. Hop in bed. So yeah, guys, I'm really excited for this. I'm not going to do. <coughs> I'm not going to do any uh, of the Steed Fracture Manager uh, thing on camera. Oh. Hopefully this is working, else I have to do some more stuff. It used to be or dictionary, so let's hope this is the case. No, okay, I will be right back. Wow, the glasses. You should be smelting. Oh, wow, it's okay. It's almost done. So we can right continue off of where we left. But first things first, I want to upgrade my mayonnaise and my baked potatoes to some potato salad. Oh, yeah. It's way better food than I am using now. Like, it's double the efficiency. So I'm not going. I'm, I'm going to use up this first because I love me some apple juice. <laughs> Okay, let's grab the glass. I just smelted up some, not a whole bunch, but it should be enough for this project. I think I can even make me some more cable. Mm, I think this will should this will do for now. So yeah, guys, uh, what are we going to do with this cable? First things first, we are going to move the tree farm because. It's not really needed here anymore for now. Oh, yeah, it's going to instantly plant some more. So first, uh, first dump some of our inventory in here. Uh, let's see. We don't really need this. 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 Uh, 
also not this. Uh, we are going to use this. Uh, so yeah, let's grab this thing. It will drop all its upgrades and stuff like that. Quite amazing, quite amazing. Um, I also need uh, this hmm. I will leave this here for now. I don't really need any, any, any of that. I do need some of this. Uh, let's also grab that. So yeah, guys, uh, we are going to... Yeah, I thought I forgot something. We are going to uh, automate this thing. Uh, right behind here, so I do need to convert this all in dirt. Have I? Yes, I do. Mm, I have dirt. Let's see. Uh, stack. I think this will be probably enough, but I kind of want to have a little bit more dirt. I think this should do. My tools are getting low. I really need to upgrade them tools. <laughs> them tools. Wow. Uh, let's see. Yeah, uh, let me uh, convert this all to dirt really quick. Alright everyone. Oh, that FPS drop. <laughs> okay. Um, first things first, uh, we need to reset up this thing. So I am going to use a chest for this, for the output. So I can grab it. Um, I'm going to place the factory manager inside, I think. And I'm going to break through this wall because I'm a rebel. No. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, is there anything in here? No, there's not. So I'm going to get rid of all these things first. Because I'm going to realign them. Uh, I need that for that. And that tool for that. That is a very specific description in this. Uh, okay. Uh, Let's see. So the first one is going to be uh, the charcoal input. Because we need charcoal input. So I also need something to smell it. Uh, first I'm going to use this. Later on I'm going to use the cho uh, coke oven. But for now, this will do. I think I'm going to use the lower three one. Oh, they are all full with. Okay, that's really awesome. To kick stuff off. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm also thinking about using a barrel. Because barrels are amazing. No, oh, I picked that up again. I also really need to work on some applied logistics or something like that. Because my inventory oh, is a mess. You don't even want to know. So the first things first I want to take care of of um, keeping the furnace, furnace, is it furnaces? I'm going to keep it on um, furnaces. Uh, oh no, it's furnace. Oh no. That was Dutch. I'm sorry guys. <laughs> it's kind of early for me. So yeah guys, um, I'm going to take care of the furnaces. Hmm, uh, where do I... Oh, I'm, I'm going to keep this compact. Really awesome. And do I want to do this? Hmm, I'm, I'm not a pro with Steve's factory or Steve's uh, stuff. Let's see. I do want to be able to like look into them, so I'm going to or walk under them, so I'm going to do it like this ish. This is going to obstruct a lot of things, right? Yeah, it is. Darn. Uh, I think I'm going to then do something else with it uh, because the chest isn't really a must have. So let's stick under it. So I can get rid of these cables. And I can get below it. Oh. Let's go one more down. Cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. 
exactly how I want to have this. So yeah, uh, hopefully we can access the inventory. Or else I have to yell at Van Hal. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, oh, I also need to supply it with access, of course, of course. Okay, the saplings uh, are going to keep in there. I'm also going to use charcoal on this one. Or maybe not. Let's see if it's burning. Yeah, it's burning through it. I think I'm going to use wooden sticks then. So it can do short bursts of stuff. <laughs> because the planting was like instantly. So yeah, I'm going to move this uh, to some other location. Because I want to have some barrels in here. One, two, three, four. And let's see. That's for charcoal. And also one for axes. And one for cemetery shakes. Let's cut them down. Or not. Let's remove the blocks. And first I'm going to use only one cable. Us. Um, to keep it easy for myself so this should work just fine this tree farm should be sufficient to keep this thing burning at a slow rate oh yeah I also maybe want to add one more for like the uh, let's add them just all and let's add some items to the back so I can see what's what wood can I make a charcoal block? I should be able to. I think there's something in the mod that adds that. Yeah, charcoal block. Um, the main reason why I do this is uh, because I th think this mod, uh, like Steve's Factory... Uh, yeah, Steve's Factory Manager has like a cable collection thing majigger. I forgot the name of it, so don't blame me. Well, you do have to blame me for that. And I think I want to have the Steve's factory manager here. So I'm going to use one more cable. Take a few more because I don't want to have like too much of these massive blocks. So I'm going to move this a little bit over here. To like something like this. Let's see. Cool. Okay. I'm not going to cover up that yet. So um, I'm going to do some fiddling with it. Try to keep some charcoal in here and stuff like that. And we'll see you guys in a second. Oh yeah. Alright people, welcome back. Welcome back. A little bit of lag spike. Um, I've been quite busy and this is kind of harder than I thought. But it's working now. Um, not totally done yet. Not totally done yet. I already have this hooked up to clean out this thing. For example, if I put anything in here. It will eventually empty it out. Uh, it will... I think it cleans it out every 30 seconds. Yeah, there it goes. Um, I also have like automatic charcoal going in here. They are spread evenly to like 16 each. Quite nice, quite nice. I still have to hook up like the wood to the other stuff. Uh, let's see. I want to clean out my inventory. So yeah, let's quickly get our other wood. A lot of wood. Mm. Just break it. Did I? Okay, okay. I'm full. Cool. So yeah, I have uh, this kind of fixed up. I want. Uh, I don't want to smelt up all wood. I think I want to keep. Uh, I want to have about five stacks of charcoal as backup. And the rest I want to keep as wood. And maybe we'll up that later on. But for now it will do. I also want to hook up later on. A auto crafting system. Let's see. Let's make a chest already for that. Because I want to have that on the side. Because you have to have a spare chest. When you auto craft something. 
with this setup uh, I need to have it up here so I will do that right now I'm also not able to access the thing when it's running I think I will move it one up in the wall this smeltery this smeltery will be here so I think I will move it up one there so it will be a little bit in the wall but I don't really mind so yeah um just a little update for you guys I think the next update I will have it so is this even connecting oh yes it is it is oh, it, this thing is so fast okay it broke there I was like where did it broke <laughs> Um, let's see we have it we had it like this right this this and this yeah cool uh, so yeah let me do this and we will be right back with you guys when we have a little bit more then oh yeah all right people all right people welcome back welcome back um, I have pretty much finished this build. I only have a small problem. The condition doesn't seem to work. I seem to screw something up. Uh, you see this barrel, it should check if there are 32 in here. Um, if you know the answer, please say it because I am i don't know what I'm doing wrong. So uh, it's checking at this condition if there's at that barrel that I just pointed out. On the upside, I think it shouldn't matter. I also tried the downside, but it doesn't work. If there are all the 32 X's, it should check on that. So it's 32 or above, and it's still crafting them. I have no idea why. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, guys. Um, so yeah, it's later on it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, I have the same problem with uh, this thing. It's also put... It's, thing like why isn't this working it is working okay cool cool <clears throat> i have the same problem with these things that's a little bit more problematic because i keep making charcoal so yeah it's 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 kind of annoying kind of annoying but uh, it will it will it won't be a problem in the future i hope uh, excuse me for that burp if you could hear that i may have to cut that out <laughs> so yeah uh, i'm going to change the interval to like 60 seconds even though uh, it doesn't really matter i think even to like two minutes or so because uh, it doesn't need to make the access so fast yeah. So, yeah. it's kind of annoying oh whoops So yeah, we have this going. Um, cobble. I do need to supply, keep this supply a bit cobblestone like a lot because it's going to craft a full barrel of access. It, it isn't really a biggie. So yeah. Uh, now we need to hook up the last part of it. That's going to be quite easy because I just want to keep uh, like uh, 16 charcoal in here. So I'm going to do that actually on camera. So. Uh, uh, let's see let's align this perfectly let's do it with the rest too really quick I just notice if you like keep on shift pressing it like uh, do this movement instead of the free movement you can it's a little bit much up here so um, let's name this smeltery save it oh uh, this is a quite an easy one you just need a trigger a condition so this is an if statement if through or if false do this do this input and output cool 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 okay let's see let's align this like this it's going to be checking this every uh, let's say 30 seconds would be okay if you put this on one second have a bunch of timers it will like up your server it's basically ddosing your own server <laughs> and you don't want to have that happen uh, hopefully this doesn't really matter, but I am going to oh, sleep really quick. <laughs> I was going to check the way it was turning or something like that, but uh, let's see. That side is like, oh, wrong key. <clears throat> That's the south side, so conditions, inventory, I have that one selected. If it's on the south side, check it there. If there is any charcoal... 16 oh 16 whoops charcoal uh let's try that again delete charcoal 
if there's like 16 of them or is if there isn't 16 of them then if that's false so if there aren't 16 or more in it you need to check okay i know which one uh, you need to check the inventory uh, you can press shift so you can check the blocks around it and i put a block of charcoal under it so i can know which barrel is it so uh, grab from down it doesn't really matter i think but i like to keep it orderly grab some charcoal i know there's only charcoal in it but i don't want to break the system so i grab one charcoal from it and the output inventory is going to be that uh, uh, scorched duct uh, on the south side activate which items anything that's in the input so there's nothing going to get wrong here so let's put it up and let's see what's happening nothing hmm. let's see what am i doing wrong God, it fell in. It's on the right slot, so I don't know what's going wrong here. It should be working. Oh, it's the wrong slot. Okay, okay, I need to. Why is it? it why is it working now? This is a little bit strange. Oh, I set it on thirty seconds. Okay, okay, I really need to change that to the flame one. Oh God, it fell in again. I need to set it to this one. Yeah, cool. Let's go to here. Should now go into the, this slot. Uh, so yeah, that's a little bit of the system automated. Uh, it's still not perfect. It's still a little bit uh, malfunctioning. Let's see. Yeah, see, it's keep making access. I think I've put them all in. Yeah. Uh, let's see if it put any inside of here. Yes, it did. Oh, it's burning through it quite fast. Let's see if 30 seconds is enough. Because I kind of want to balance it out. I kind of want to put in more than it burns up. So, yeah. Uh, let's see if this is working. If this is working, it would be amazing. So, if this automated, I would be really happy. I think it is enough 30 seconds. I love this build actually. I love uh, Steve's Factory Manager. I do need to make a little bit more of the upgrade so I can have a bigger farm, but that will be something for the future. I might move the farm over though, so I need to adjust some code. Or not code, but some of these stuff. Let's see if it. Yeah, it's fast enough. I may build up a little bit in here, but that's totally fine. Even though it's, hopefully the condition is working this time. It isn't a hard condition, so it should work. So yeah, guys, that's a little bit of this episode. I have automated this thing that makes me really happy. Because this thing was a little bit a bottleneck for me. I wanted to keep it run 24-7 and keep it at max temperature. But it wasn't really possible because it was... But uh, there was no automated way, but I automated today a little bit with this. I think in between episodes, if I think about it, I'm going to build some co governs and automate those two to make like. I don't know if we're going to automate chalk with it. Oh, excuse me, that was my phone. I may have to cut it out if I think about it. <laughs> Let's see. Mm, yeah, it's building up nice and steady. Awesome. The can can even lower this. Yeah, let's lower it. The less takes, the less stress there's on the server. So let's put this on 60. Awesome. So yeah, guys. Uh, I think this is it for this episode. The episode has been long enough. Um, I'm really stoked that we have automated this uh, partially. I'm also thinking about building a second Steve Factory Manager that I'm going to put here. Um, because I don't want to clutter, maybe I'm just going to build it in there because I have plenty of room here left, so maybe I will do that. Uh, so I can drop some ores in here and they will be put automatically in the right spots. So in here and being smelted. So yeah guys, uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, let's switch to the right view before we do. To thank you guys for watching. 
Uh, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe if you have any tips for me why the thing isn't working properly, why it is infinitely crafting. Uh, comment it down in the comment section below. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.